ale for me. Hi there, and welcome back to Kingdom back, Come right? Deliverance. We're in Sasau, and uh, we well, want to we talk to me. some people. Among them, this interesting man, a charlatan. Ha! Huh. I know you. I know you from somewhere. Hmm. Where do I know you from? What? Of course, my dream. You were in a boat made of bone, and I put a crown of thorns on your head. That seems about right. Tell me about your dream. All right. Tell me about this dream of yours. That dream? Yes, that dream has come true. I dreamt that a young man would become my apprentice. My own pupil in the trade of miracles. <laughs> Who is that man? <coughs> Surely a madman. But we are interested in mad people. And we will follow him just to see... What humors this strange existence? Then I'm in luck. Then I'm in luck. On the contrary, I'm the lucky one. What's your name, young man? Oh. Henry. Henry. Hmm. A powerful name. So, Henry, are you ready to become my apprentice? Well, what does it entail? What exactly does it entail? Becoming your apprentice. Oh, a lot of work and strenuous labor. Knowledge of medicine, theology, and white magic. You have to study the great works of the ancients and devote your time to understanding your fellow men, listening to them, and learn to read their souls. Well, that sounds easy. <laughs> Nothing to it. But that's why God has sent you. So what do you say? Who are you? First, tell me, who are you, and what do you do? Me? I am an unworthy, low, and miserable servant of Providence. Scholar or merchant? Believer or heathen? I wander the world without home or family, with only my wagon offering miracles to those that need them. That's who I am. Without home or kin, I wander this world with my wagon, providing the miracles that people need. Ointments, relics, aromatic herbs, rare spices, talismans and amulets for luck. All these things I have. All right, that sounds great. I'll become your apprentice. <laughs> All right, I'll be your apprentice. Wonderful! Oh, glorious day! I have a successor in my work. So, how do you plan to start training me? With a test of your practical skills. Oh. I have my eye on three rare objects of great value. But sadly, they're a little difficult to obtain. Go on. Go on. First! I need a tooth of St. Procopius. Then I'll need a branch from a topping out hung on a church. And finally, a talisman. For luck, I'm a passionate player. Bloody hell, that's a lot. All right, one thing at a time. The player's talisman, that sounds... Could we give him some dice? This player's talisman? Where am I supposed to find it? I actually have a specific one in mind. Here at the inn, there's a dice player who always has a cat's paw with him. That's supposed to bring him luck. Oh, that's... Aha, uh -huh. that, that sounds good. How are we supposed to get it? Play How am for I it? supposed to get the talisman from him? I haven't a clue. It won't be easy, but I'm sure you'll find a way. We'll see. And isn't it supposed to be a rabbit's paw, usually? A cat's paw? I thought players bring <laughs> along a rabbit's paw for luck. Uh, I thought so, too. But 
this man is winning one game after another, so cats are clearly even more powerful than rabbits. Oh. So if he's winning all the time, it might be better we buy it from him if he sells it. I get it then. Very well. I'll get you the poor. And uh, what's a topping out? This topping out? What's that? <laughs> You're not a carpenter, it seems. No, I'm a blacksmith. I see. Well, a topping out is a decorated spruce or a conifer tree hung on top of the roof of a new house to bring good fortune and God's blessing. Ah, part of this will make you good luck, probably. We could make our own, though. Well, then all we need to do is break off a branch somewhere, buy a few ribbons, and we've got our own homemade topping out right there. You don't understand, young man. The topping out <laughs> is sanctified by a priest, and it hangs on the highest church far and wide. You can't just replace it with a decorated branch. Fair enough. Uh, how am I supposed to get it down? That topping off is hung pretty high, isn't it? Naturally. It hangs on the rooftop according to tradition. And the church is tall. And how am I supposed to get it down? Damned if I know. But they had to get it up there somehow, didn't they? Yeah, well, I get it then. Very well. I'll get it. And the tooth of some Procopius, is that in some kind of tomb? About that tooth, it's going to be slightly more complicated, isn't it? I know. Yes, it would be very difficult to gain such a rare relic, of course. That's why I have an alternative solution. I'm listening. A layman named Procopius lives by the monastery, and it just so happens, thanks to my intricate medical knowledge, that I found out he has a sick tooth. My God. How did you know that? How did you find out he has a sore tooth? Uh, as it happens, he told me at the tavern. But that's <laughs> oh God, not important. This guy. <laughs> oh, well, how do I get the tooth from him? And how am I supposed to get the tooth? Well, I haven't the faintest idea. You have to think of something. But maybe you'll be able to persuade him to let the blacksmith pull it. Yeah, that might be good. But ain't that swindling, good man? Wouldn't that be swindling people? It is, and it isn't. If I sell that tooth as the tooth of Saint Procopius, then it certainly is deceitful. But if I sell it as a tooth from Procopius of Sasau, then I'm cheating nobody. Does it really matter whose tooth I bring, then? Of course it does. The name Procopius in this holy land is shrouded with mystical power. Sometimes I might play a trivial trick on someone, but I assure you, I'm no swindler. <laughs> All right, I get it. Fine. I'll get it from him. Wonderful. So we're working for no swindler. I'll get looking for those things then. Excellent. You do that, my journeyman. Good luck. <laughs> Good luck for us. Oh my God. So where was the dice player? There's the innkeeper. Hey. Good game of dice would be nice. Where are you? Townswoman, an older one. Oh, there's someone playing the dice. Not yet, though. The best of Gotta be right here. So what we also want to do, though, is uh, the rest of the spirit, right? That's what we're after. We should drive the ghost out of Drahomira's cottage when we met this strange charlatan. So we'll do that first, of course these strange endeavors they have some time still so we'll go back to Ledechko hmm which way should we take probably ride this way north and then uh, northeast a bit 
Let's hope we don't meet too many humans. Hmm, on the other hand, we could stay here for the night. Meet the dice player. Eat something. Take a stroll in La Dechko. That might be the more reasonable thing. Come on. Ah, there we go. There's a new house being built, or what? We could, we could explore this systematically, or we could just run around like this. Anyone not living here? Hello there. Oh, there. Good woman. How do you do? Okay, we can pickpocket her. No, we won't do that. Who's that? Well, somebody else. Get something to eat. I'm starting to get hungry. Just here on the right. Who is that? Is that the smith in Sasa? A swordsmith. Hey there. God be with you. That's interesting. Do you need help with anything, by the way? Uh, we're a smith too, and we're... Any chance of some work? Interested often. Well, come to think, there is one rather delicate matter to attend to. A while ago, a holy man came by here. He said he'd come from the Holy Land, and he was selling various relics he'd collected on his travels to pay his way. I see. That was a charlatan, I bet. Well, I heard he had some fragments oh, yes. of a sacred sword that once belonged to the fabled Czech Queen of Sheba. But by the time he reached me, he had no pieces left of the sword. All he had was some dubious wares, splinters from our Lord's cross, thorns from the crown. Dubious wares, yes, but the other's not. Where did the pieces of the sword go? He sold them off to swordsmiths and blacksmiths hereabouts. They just keep them lying around at home for good luck. If I had them, I forged them back into a sword. Can you even imagine what power it would command? If you could get me all the pieces of the sword, I'd repay you very handsomely. That sounds really crazy, but I have a few questions. Was the Queen of Sheba really a Czech queen? Are you sure the Queen of Sheba is a Czech queen? Who else would she be? Have you not heard of her? Our some priest. She's in the Bible. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. It seems fishy, though. Nah, we're not gonna... If he wants to have these strange pieces... <laughs> Man's will is his paradise. What power did he have? What kind of power did this sword have? What do you think? It brought his bearer good luck in combat and protection from enemies. Fantastic sword. Where can I find the parts of this? Where can I find the powers? Like I said, the smith hereabouts bought them from him. They say the largest piece is with the Ratai swordsmith. The bastard probably won't want to sell. But if you manage to swipe it somehow... <sighs> I could do with a sword like that. What if you sold it to me? Well, everything has its price. But this one would be expensive. Getting hold of the bits is one thing. Forging them back together is quite another. That tinkerer from Ratai couldn't manage it. <laughs> well, I mean, I'll get those pieces. It does sound very interesting. 
I'll ask them and see what I can do. Excellent. You'll see you won't regret it. I'll pay you well. <laughs> That's so crazy. That's just fitting us as well. A collection of quests until we say goodnight. And uh, yeah, there's someone else here who, who has work, supposedly. As we can see on the map. Hey, good dog. Yeah, that's the weaponsmith. It's a fine weaponsmith, I guess. Who lives here? Oh, some pigs. Great to know you. There's that shrine. What a nice bridge. We'll go over there and left and then... And a blacksmith too. Gonna have to check everything. Who is that? Oh, there's the boss. Ooh. Do we have something to eat, by the way? Some. Uh, how long can we store honey? Oh, <laughs> all the way, all the way. Um, hmm. but we want something to eat before we go to the baths. Something in there. Sometimes people have some kind of a kitchen open. Not here, I guess. What the hell was that? Whoa. The bathhouse. Show hey. yourself. God Almighty. <laughs> yeah. Well then. Everything good? <laughs> hey there. <laughs> We're gonna use the bathhouse. I'm interested services. in your uh, services. So what are you interested in? In a very, very good night. Uh, well, we'll just have a bath and launder our garments. Proper bath. And my clothes need washing. But of course. Money first, though. Yeah, come on, ten, that's Here fine. I'm sure you'll be extremely satisfied. What was that though? Oh, a nice bath made. We'll have to We'll have to come back one day. Theresa, yes, but Theresa's far away. I mean, so we don't betray her, right? That guy, wow, what a nice hat. Nice hat, man. We couldn't be with her. We, we're on a mission. I mean, nothing has happened yet. Oh, we could use a little bit more to eat. Reloading, that's what we are doing here. What's going on here? There's some kind of a trader here. Hmm. Anyone looking? What's down here? Let's close that door. Hmm, bandages. Bohines, so they are very valuable. 
Steal these. There's something in this thing. A what Artemisia potion? Oh, increases our strength. And lots of alcohol. We'll steal it all. That's for our holes. Whoever has so much alcohol must be rich, so it's no sin taking it from him or her. Hey, pebbles! Quick! We've got something from for you, my good... My good uh, horse. Move the beer over. Uh, the boar hide. And uh, the moonshine. Some spirits. Ooh, horse can't carry anymore. Mm. Not not so good. Not so good. What what could we do? Could drink some wine to celebrate. Oh, we're drunk, full, and everything's fine now. All right, Pebbles, you do this for us. You're fine, we're fine, everyone's fine. Let's go back to the to the to the inn and uh, let's see what we can do. Oh hey. Um hey. Yeah, hey. Actually, we should go to some kind of trader, right? Hey there. Let's trade. You don't know us, we don't know you. What could we sell you? Um, really, only, only the fruit and stuff? Nah. That's no good, then. What is what's so much in our halls? Mm. Lots of weapons and armor. Wow. Hmm. Blue Green Hood, Dyed Milanese Brigadine, Fashionable Slippers, Green Nobleman's whatever. Let's see what we can trade and wear. Who are you? Just the villager. Oh, there's there's a baker here. Good man, are you here? Oh, we have so much stuff, we cannot take more. Hey there, Baker Man is baking bread. Hey there. Let's trade. What could we sell you? Oh well. Let's sell our food. We don't need food anyways. Add this. Add this. The dried mushrooms, the honey. Trade as well. 20. What? You get 6. Really? 6. 
<laughs> All right, doesn't matter. Um, we'll close the deal. We need, really need. Just something. <laughs> Some. Oh my God! We're actually tumbling around. Nothing is as good as stolen wine. Oh my God! Are we? Hey. Are we falling? Hey! <laughs> is that your chicken farm? It's fine, right? It's absolutely fine what we're doing here. Hey there, who are you? You can't choose your kin, eh? Isn't that God's truth? Who are you? What the hell was that? That's us. And we drank. Go away. I don't like you. Is he following us? No. That's good. Let's see that swordsmith. Will he really be buying something from us? Hey there, good man. About trade. Let's see what we can sell to him. Hmm. Actually, we need to get back stuff from our horse. That bludgeon. The dagger. The spike club, not so much. Maybe the... The war hammer. And I don't know, that should be good, right? For this, will you buy that stuff? Yeah, he'll buy that. And uh, the bludgeon. You get 86. Oh, we can trade for that. Come on. Let's haggle. Can we do it's something about the price? Hmm. All right, so. Can we get a little more? Like, how about 102? Satisfied? That's too much. Oh, come on. 93, okay, we'll go 94. Aye, for that amount I can be persuaded. All right, getting richer and richer and richer. That's also a blacksmith, the map says. I hear that blacksmith mumbling. Now, for the last time. I'm at your service tonight. Um, hmm. Sawtooth, what? <laughs> no, let's talk trade for now. We want to see what... Oh, yeah, we should get some stuff from our horse, right? What do we have? The Vascinate. I think that's... Hmm, severely limiting the field of view. I don't like that. Even though it's pretty good, probably. Yeah, it's going to be extremely nice. See, we have the dyed Milanese brigandine. 
Ah, that's also so good. Hunter's gloves, maybe. Or leather gloves. Move these to the inventory and the hunter's gloves and the brigandines, the red jacket. Green nobleman's hose? I don't know. Let's talk to him again. And try to sell something. What could we sell? Quite a lot. He's, is he buying everything? He's just not giving us much for it. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> The leather, leather gloves we can sell, and... Uh, hmm. The red outer jacket. Not that good. Short Brigadier choices. Oh, we have no legs right now. That's true. My God. Tight olive hose. Hmm. Well, let's close the deal and actually if he buys so much, then... How about that hose? That would be much better, right? And I think we've got a necklace already. But he wouldn't be able to pay for it. Ah, that's so bad. Let's see, what, we, what can we move to the horse? Really like to wear these. Look at that. Move the spade over. And the mead. Spirits. The wine too. Oh, and we're good already. Okay. Then we've got a lot of things we don't need. Well then. Now we can go back to the tavern and play with that guy. For his cat's paw. Could we leave here, by the way? Oh, a townswoman. Dum dum da 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 da. da, da. No, I didn't know she did that. Hey there. Oh. Are we late? Hopefully not. The dice player there. The bailiff is there. My god. Things are going crazy. And the charlatan is there again. The gambler. I am at your service, Sir Knight. You must be that lucky fellow everyone's talking about. Lady Luck has been good to me lately, true enough. But that can change quicker than you know. People say that you get help from a lucky charm. Is that not allowed? No, it is. It just interests me, that's all. Why? 
Hmm, why indeed? Uh, we could play for it. I'd like to try that luck of yours. Let's play for your talisman. <laughs> As you wish. My talisman against your groschen. We'll try it one, one time. Okay, make a sure. wager. There'd be no point in it otherwise. We'll select the order die twice. Can we do that? Uh, we'll hold that one and roll again. Not the best rolls we have. Uh, we'll hold that die and roll again. Okay, should be should be all right with four hundred. He's probably really lucky with this cat's pool. Don't believe it. <laughs> okay, he's not. Well, we're at four hundred. That's not very good, but it's also not terrible. Ooh, look at that. At five hundred, six hundred. Hopefully, he doesn't do it in one. Piece. Ah, it's starting out good for us. Whoa, he's a tough opponent. No point in pushing it. What is that? I cannot even discern it. Oh, it's a three, and that's a five. All right. Hmm. We could have that, and that, and that. We'll try that. 450 is, is an okay. What? Huh. What? Service is a bit slow here today. <sighs> what is that? I cannot even see it. Is that a five and a three? Test. It's not hold. What's that? Nothing. Okay. You know what? Let's hold that die and oh, roll beer. again. What's that? That's a one. Yeah, we have to take that and roll again. That's gonna be close. That's gonna be close. What's that? That's a f five. Let's take that one and roll again. It's getting really close. We have here. Okay, now we have to rely on our luck. Pray for us. Yeah, give me a minute. Wow. We'll see. You must be up to no good sneaking around in the dark. Light a torch no before the cat see you. That's gonna be interesting. Only bandits creep around in the dark without a light. Where's your torch? Score and pass. What are you doing creeping around like a footpad? Everyone has to carry a light at well, by law. Seems my looks run out. Damn it. Seeing how I lost. I reckon that cat's paw don't bring luck anymore. <laughs> Not to you anyway. 
So, thanks for the game. We did it. We got the cat's paw. Where the hell were you? Now we need some kind of torch, right? Hey there. What did you want from us? Now we need a room. for me. What do you want from me? We've got a torch on. Is that better? God be with you, good sir. We're an inn. Are we the the freaking lighters here? Um, actually, we want a room, but anyone here need help? Are there any problems around here I might be able to help with? Well, depends what you're willing to do. You're from Skellets, ain't you? You must know Fritz and Matthew, then. Them fellows need to learn some manners. They've been making mischief and folk are getting fed up with them. Fair, is that as And that's not all. Uh -huh. This is your own Skellets, folk. Need the most help. There's some of them at the monastery. Talk to your hanker a few times. She's working her fingers to the bone taking care of the injured ones there. I'm sure she'd welcome some good Samaritan who'd lighten her load. That's all I can think of. Well, thanks a lot. That's very interesting to us. Let's talk trade though. Um, could we get a room? <laughs> no. Hey, hey, how's my... We sleep anywhere here? Jeez, what do I have to do to get a drink here? My pleasure. Oof. We could talk to the bailiff. I'm at your service, Sir Knight. Anything new here? Is there anything interesting going on here? It's so peaceful, it worries me. Okay. Who's that guy? Everyone is meeting in this tavern. Truly. I tell you, that's crazy here. We need a... What is he doing here? Good man, what are you doing? You've been drinking from these casks? Truly, we need a place to sleep. What's that? Ah, oh, that's the bakery. Did they have some place to sleep here? Like somewhere where no one notices it so much? Mm. Knock, knock. No. What's that? Is there a bed? No. We wanted to find a place to sleep here, but it seems like we cannot. People wandering around. Shop guard going home. A grocer's here. That's gross. Maybe you have some kind of bed here. Wash ourselves. A little bit. Hmm. Come on, we need to sleep. Some kind of bed, maybe? We'll just follow you around, right? Hey! Okay, okay, okay. Hmm. 
We wouldn't want to uh, stay out here at night. That's not so comfortable when it rains. There's a tailor. There we're trespassing. What? Go up here then. That's locked. Ah. And this is crazy. That's that's a place I would crash. But it doesn't seem to be possible. Oh, come on, we need sleep. Anyone here? Got a bed? All this rain. You, you're a priest. Hmm. For the record, we would want to pay. Mr. Innkeeper, can we get a room? I think we'll just try to sleep here. Somewhere. Ooh, that's all locked or what? Sleep here. If nobody's looking. Ah, uh, there's a guard here. Hey, God. <laughs> oh, you're not a dead dog, you're a sleeping dog. Come on, leave us alone, dog. We need a place to sleep, dog. Ah, look at them. They're all in there. I need warm and cozy. Knock, knock. Ah, no one's opening. That's the worst crisis ever. Alone in Sarsau, the city of no sleep. Hey there. Can't be possible. Here it would be warm and feel like home. Could find a ghost now, right? How late is it? It's nearing the ghost hours of the night. Uh, it's a little dark outside here. going on here absolutely nothing and you hey you have no lantern what about you um, strange questions we would follow you absolutely but we need a bid a bid The music is so bad. 
It's like it's something terrible is gonna happen. And because of that, you cannot sleep right now. Hunter's gloves. Uh, we should move them over to the horse. So we are at least not encumbered anymore and we can run a bit. There's some kind of tent. Ooh, that might be good. Can we sleep in that tent? <gasps> No? I thought that was a bed. I thought every tent had some kind of bed. Someone in there? No one? Pretty creepy outside here. Anyone in here? Hello? What was that? Oh, I'm sorry. Maybe that was a little too drastic. There's some light here. Ah, pebbles. The moon is out here. Will we find some kind of place where we can sleep? It's crazy. The baths, the bathhouses. There we might crash. That be it. To the bathhouses we go. Well, that's where the oh, that's where a lot of tents are actually. The private area we don't care. Is there a place we could sleep? Ah, uh, no. Come on. Hello, is anyone here? Come on, it's terrible out there. Maybe over here. Hmm. Ah, that's maybe a little bit too risky, right? <sighs> no bathhouse for us. Let's go right there. <laughs> what a terrible journey we have. It's one of these nights. We're at the butcher. Surely we could sleep, sleep somewhere here. A guard. Hey there, guard. Wake up. Hello. Come on, what kind of guard are you? You're half asleep, are you? Ha! What are you doing here? Are you after something? Yeah, we're up to some sleep. Ah. Uh. What a terrible night. We'll sleep until 10. What's the matter with you? Good night. I trust you're a, you're a good person. You're a guard after all.
well-guarded sleep. That's what we had here. Ah. Good morning. What a great morning we had. Hey there, Mr. Butcherman. Let's do away with the torch and uh, equip the shield again. What a fine and nice day this is. Thank you for watching. Today we're gonna give the charlatan the, the, the cat's paw. And then we'll look if we can do something for Drahomira. Have a good time until next time and happy gaming.